the summer has started as far as we are concerned. The Headbangers Ball is hitting the festival trail for the first time this year at the Dynamo Festival in Holland. Actually, this is the first time we've been on location at this particular festival. And you just saw memories of last summer there, actually, Slayer with dense, Dead Skin Mask from Donington 92. And first up tonight, I'm uh, joined by a new band who uh, you may have seen on Headbangers Ball a few weeks ago, actually, Nude Swirl. And I'm joined by Woody and Shane, who actually just came off stage about uh, 20 minutes or so ago. How did it go for you? It was pretty good. Yeah. It's cool. The crowd was pretty cool. It's kind of weird playing this early during the day, though. Yeah, there's some darkness. <laughs> now, maybe you could tell us a little bit about the history of Nude Swirl, because I know that you formed out of two underground bands um, from kind of New Jersey. Tell us a little bit about how you all got together. Um, been together since 1988, um, pretty much formed through the classifieds of a newspaper. Um, Woody joined a little later, and we just uh, put together our first record. It came out about three months ago. And uh, we're touring on it now, we're, you know, enjoying it. Now you've gained a, a reputation in America for a kind of very chaotic, frantic live performance. How does that translate from the kind of clubs through to a big open air festival like this? Uh, it's a lot different. Yeah, we don't it's... crash into each other as much. <laughs> <laughs> the stages are a lot bigger. Yeah. And lights and stuff, it's... I don't know, it's just a lot different. Yeah. 12 in the morning, I'm not usually up. <laughs> usually up either. Okay, um, an interesting thing about Nude Swirl is that you use Gretsch guitars, which uh, aren't always associated with kind of heavy rock music. Why, why did you decide to, to use them, and what do you think they lend to your particular sound? It was uh, pretty much accidentally, yeah, accidental how we came about using them, but uh, uh, they feed back a lot when you yeah. stop for a few <laughs> seconds. So. Um, it, you know, at first it was a problem, but then we capitalized on the feedback and incorporated it into the music a little bit. And, uh, you know, it just has its own little sound and we work with it. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. How is, um, we've been showing the video for F Sharp on Headbangers Ball. How, is, is that a good introduction to the rest of the album? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, I, a lot of, it's a pretty diverse album. Most of the songs sound different, you know, than each other so that yeah. part of it's cool. There's a lot of different moods throughout the record so you know one song just gives you that just that one mood the next song is completely different mood but consistent in sound. Okay well you're going to be touring Europe with Mind Funk uh, I mean beg your pardon yes Mind Funk I was right first time um, over the next few weeks and uh, is this festival today is this the biggest um, show you've ever played? I think so yeah. I wasn't counting I tried in between songs, but I, he kept he counted in too quick. I only got to like 15, 20. I no, there's a the biggest show we played. Yes. There's going to be a few thousand people out there today. I did show too. All right. Well, thanks very much for taking time out to join me on Headbangers Ball, and good luck with the rest of the Mind Funk European tour. And right now, we are going to show you a little bit of what we were talking about. This is Nude Swell live on stage at the Dynamo.
Thanks a lot, renewed swirl.